A political mystery finally came to an end today. The current vice president revealed her pick for the person she says will be the next one. The two appearing this evening for the first time at a rally in Battleground, Pennsylvania. CTV's Mike LeCouture reports. On stage for the first time as running mates, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls packed a university sports arena in Philadelphia. Kicking off a seven-city tour, they laid out the choice before voters. Our campaign, this campaign, is a fight for the future. The little-known former high school teacher, coach, and governor giving the Democratic campaign a clear boost. If Trump gets a chance to return, he's going to pick up exactly where he left off four years ago. Only this time, it will be much, much worse. And Walls laid down this challenge to his opponent, J.D. Vance. And I got to tell you, I can't wait to debate the guy. A clear sign the gloves are off in this campaign. Hours earlier, Republicans released a new attack ad targeting Walls. Having another left-wing extremist as her VP nominee. The Trump campaign is trying to define the vice presidential candidate before Americans do their own research. This is a guy who's proposed shipping more manufacturing jobs to China. But that pointed attack likely because of Walls' quip about Trump and Vance, which went viral a week ago. These guys are just weird. That's where they are. So it ain't it isn't much else. Don't give them the power. Something old and something new. That folksy feel is what some believe has set Walls apart from the other candidates Harris was considering as her running mate. He's a happy-go-lucky warrior. He's not exactly somebody who's going to throw slings and arrows. We share history, trade, investment. In 2020, Walls reached across the border with that Canada Day message. And back in June, he led a trade mission to Ontario, highlighting the closeness between the two countries. This former U.S. ambassador is calling Harris and Walls perfect for cross-border relations. She spent uh, early years, her formative years, in Montreal growing up. He lives next door to you and looks forward to much trade. Our number one trading partner in Minnesota is Canada. This is the Canada team. But the road to the White House is a steep one. There are 90 days until the U.S. election. And there are a number of polls showing before today, the majority of Americans hadn't even heard of Governor Walls. Omar. All right, Mike, thanks.